Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, um, do what you gotta do. So welcome back. It's another 10 minutes or less review. Um, this time it's not a movie, it's a TV show. Um, if you're living under a rock somewhere and you haven't heard about Netflix's Squid Game, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, it was released in September 17th, I believe, of this year. Um, and like every it, it caught on fire it is a Korean drama out of Netflix Korea um, it's about a game basically a game show but it's like in a lethal manner so all these individuals in Korea with debt get recruited in one way or another because they need money to participate in the squid game um, and the squid game itself is a series of ends up being, I believe, five or six games. Um, and you play different games, and if you win, you proceed to the next game. If you lose, you get killed. So it's like a very like survivor, <laughs> but with the life or death consequences. So um, in terms of it being viewed, it's it's got this like sort of sick essence to it where um, a, a group of like, higher elite men are viewing the squid game you know um we find out later it's been funded by one individual which i'm not going to give away who that is and the plot twist at the end but i kind of suspected the plot twist if you're paying attention um it's a really great show it's well written um even with the for me sometimes when it's a foreign movie and i hear I have to read subtitles or do the voiceover voiceover listening thing you know um, it's I feel like I'm missing something because I'm not hearing it in the original language. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody out there. If you watch, if you enjoy watching foreign films, that's, I feel like things get lost in translation. And for this particular show, even though there, there was dubbing, sorry, that's the word I'm looking for, dubbing, um, I still felt the sort of energy and kind of the point of the story so um i don't know I, I i wish i knew korean so i could watch it in korean it's probably more impactful when you hear it in korean um like i said the writing is amazing the cast is superb uh and it's a really big hit in 90 countries i just read um including south korea which because of the storyline of poor people with a lot of debt doing these things to kind of survive a lot of Koreans are kind of embarrassed of the show like unlike us who are like this is an exciting show this is an interesting show um it seems like South Koreans are you know Koreans like being number one the article said but at the expense of having your dirty laundry aired to the world which was like whoa but um yeah, it's it's big in a lot of countries. It's big in America, and I can see why. There's all sorts of elements of like, there's the mystique and the kind of um, conspiracy theory of the elitist group that a lot of people believe in. There's blood and gore. Um, there's internal struggles. There's good and bad. So I can see how it's big in America. My biggest concern, because it's such a great show, and I know there's a season two coming from Korea, is that they try to make an American version of this show. I think that the reason it succeeded so well was, um, especially in America, is number one, we don't know half of these actors. Um, my understanding is the two lead actors, um, let me look that, Jin Hyun and Sang Woo are big actors in Korea, but we don't know them as well. I mean, I don't watch a lot of Korean cinema, um, so I, I don't know them. Um, so for me, watching the show and seeing unknown actors from another country was appealing because I feel like in America, a lot of our cinema and a lot of Hollywood stuff kind of, it's a lot of people we know, you know, it's not too many actor, big time A-list actors. It's about the actual acting. It's about, you know, this person, let's say The Rock, I'm not point up. I'm not discriminating against The Rock. I love The Rock. I think he's a great guy. It's about The Rock being in this movie. It's not necessarily about the character development. But usually people go see the movie because of the actor. Like the same with like the Jennifer Lopez. Like you go to see Jennifer Lopez. You don't go to see some story. Um, 
the actor, the A-list actor sells the story. And in this case, with the Squid Game, we don't know the actors. They're like, they're not, of course, they're very attractive, but they're not like, they're more character actors. So it was great to see a cast full of character actors and people that I honestly didn't know um, bring to life the story. And the acting was superb. And I think that if we got a Hollywood version, uh, an American version of this, it'd be like, every the main character the main cast would be big time actors you know like the 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 main person would probably be like a tom hanks maybe not tom hanks because he's older but like a timothy timothy charlemagne or something like that you know like the the girl who was like the really attractive like girl who was originally from north korea maybe that would be played by uh jennifer lawrence like <sighs> it'd be a shame um, the only way Netflix could remake an American version if they got a whole cast of total unknowns to do this. That would be the only thing, you know. Um, it'd be kind of a shame. But I'm looking forward. They, they, they you know, it, it left off with, it obviously looked like it was going to be a season two. And I'm excited about that. Um, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the show. I've actually enjoyed on Netflix and going into a little soapbox thing real quick. I've enjoyed more foreign television on Netflix than I have American television. Um, there's so many times you can watch The Kissing Booth. <laughs> Nothing wrong if you like The Kissing Booth, but I just feel like it's just like not my thing. Um, and there's a lot of teen dramas. There's a few shows here and there that I like, but most of them have ended up being foreign shows. Like this show, um, there's a show from, I believe Norway called Ragnarok about Thor, but like it's a different version of Thor and Ragnarok. I really enjoyed, um, and I believe it's from Norway. Um, there's a lot of great foreign TV. There's another uh, a show from Brazil called Samantha that I like a lot. That's really funny. Um, so yeah, I'm, I recommend watching the Squid Game. I know you're probably sick of it if you're like, um, a lot of people like I, I was kind of hesitant to watch it and then I watched the first episode and I was kind of hooked um, yeah I really enjoyed this I think it's worth a view it's only nine episodes you can get through that you know um, in a weekend or in a span of a couple of days it's totally wow I can't like the set design is another thing the set design is out of this world like wow it was beautiful um and amazing and acting like i said i can't you know you can have the worst script in the world it's just like complete dog fire dog water garbage but if the acting's supremely amazing you kind of gloss over that you know um sometimes that can help a movie like a uh, script could be just terrible but the acting's phenomenal you're just you know what but this had a combination of a good script and good acting just everything about it is amazing like i see why everyone's praising it and now there's like merchandise coming out apparently walmart will be carrying merchandise um big thing on tiktok is the dalong challenge i the the little cookies where people were carving out shapes that's the big thing on TikTok now. So you, there's recipes and people are ordering to make those cookies and try to do the challenge. Um, also, a lot of the games are Korean based, like the Squid Game itself. I've never heard of it, but it's an old school Korean game. And so is the cookie challenge. But then there's like tug of war, like which we all know. Um, and that, I mean, and then there's that, the whole glass jumping thing too that you know figuring out different aspects of the glass that they jump just gotta watch it trust me it was a great show i give it a, a 10 out of 10 uh, 11 out of 11 <laughs> thank you so much for watching let me know what you think if you've watched it if you like it if you don't like it let's let me know please like and subscribe turn on the notification yay i made it under 10 minutes um thank you so much for watching and talk to you soon bye